Okay, so today I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, and feel free to pause if you need, if you need to, or rewind, etc. This is specifically for online retail using WooCommerce within, obviously, WordPress. For this example, this is something that this project is based on drop shipping, and in that case, depending on how great, how awesome your drop shipper is, they may give you a CSV file. And that CSV file will look something like this. And you can, you know, you probably get it in Excel format on your computer. If you do have Excel, you're going to have to convert that to CSV if you're using the uh, WooCommerce importer because they only accept CSV unless you upgrade to the deluxe version of that plugin. So here's what a CSV looks like. It's name, SKU, featured image, gallery, price, category, tags, description. Description really should be way over here but it was an afterthought when I was creating this, so it's where it is. Uh, so now let's go to the dashboard on my WordPress, and we're going to look for WooCommerce, and go into your product importer. What you'll learn, if you haven't already and might be frustrated about, and which is why you're here, is that this product importer is limited, and if you're just starting out as a drop shipper, you've already invested money in your URL, in your template you've uploaded these this has already cost you a couple bucks and you're not interested in spending a dollar more before you sell a product right so in this case woocommerce's product importer allows you to upload via csv which is why i say that if you have the csv sh sheet on if you have the excel sheet i apologize most um dropshippers will give you an excel sheet if you have that excel sheet you're going to need to convert it to a csv which is very simple you will go to your Google Drive. If you don't have one, create a Google Drive account. You'll upload the document, and then you'll open the document as a Google Sheet. Then you'll go into your Google Sheet, download as CSV, and that will give you the opportunity to, up, uh, to upload that as a CSV file. However, your images are not going to be imported using the WooCommerce import. What happens is they don't even give you the opportunity even though you've created the column for your featured image in your gallery with the product importer, and you can look this up, it does not allow you to attach images. It doesn't even give you the option to import the image. Even though the image is there and it might be sitting in your gallery, unless you upgrade to the deluxe, which costs $95, you're not going to be able to have your products uploaded with the images automatically attaching. It's not going to happen. So the alternative to the WooCommerce importer without paying step $95 to get that process done, you're going to go to your plugin, your plugin manager, you're going to add new, and you're going to look for WP All Import, and it's made by Softly. So WP All in One Import, I mean, I'm sorry, WP All Import, here we go. WP All Import, made by Softly. And what you'll need to do is you'll have to have already populated your CSV, which should look like this, name, SKU, featured image, gallery, etc. And uh, the important thing that you need to do when you're uploading your images or attaching your images, you can, if your drop shipper has given you a CSV that includes an image link, that's perfect. In many cases, that is not the case, and this is why, this is the purpose of this video. I was not given a CSV or an Excel sheet that included the links to the images. I was given a separate file that included the images. However, the image name matches the SKU. So I knew exactly where to insert my image names. So for example, let's go to the media library. The image for product with the SKU 22454 and the image uh, with the product number 22433 would go obviously into the corresponding line for that SKU. So the SKU and the featured image match the names, uh, except for the HR, because HR is just basically high resolution. And I've only done two um, to give you the example, but I have over 4,000 some odd images in here already. I just uploaded these fresh so that I could show you how to import with WP All Import and how to get around paying $95 for a plugin that should really be included already with WooCommerce but isn't and they, you know they have to make their money but if you're tapped out because you've already paid for your URL your hosting 
um, you've paid for someone to install your website or you just installed it, you paid for the template, etc., you might not want to spend $95. So here's a great way to save it. Download this plugin, WP All Import, and I don't work for these people. I just went through so many plugins and I found this was the best one. So this is my test CSV, name, SKU, featured image, gallery, price, category, tags, and description. And I'm going to go ahead and upload my file. If you're one of the lucky ones and you have a great dropshipper that included the image link, you don't have to go through this process. You basically just go to all in all import and import the document as is because it will grab, it will give you the option of grabbing the image and attaching it via the link, which is beautiful. A lot of dropshippers do that. Many of them are lazy and they don't want to do that for you. Um, my dropshipper is going to implement that process next month so this won't be an issue for me going forward but it was an issue for me this time around and it was very frustrating trying to find a plugin that actually would attach and you can if you know how to code you can actually code um, you can actually add code to your function PHP where you would create a plugin out of your code and then every time you uploaded a product CSV it would automatically link your images but that's more detailed and you'd need a programmer to do that for you so here's our test sheet with our data for all two products and so these are new items and you want to delegate where they go to and they go to WooCommerce products continue to step two And I appreciate the people over at Softly for creating such a cool plugin, by the way. Okay, so here it wants to confirm that it's properly allocated your columns with WooCommerce's columns. So the name of the brace, the name of the product is silver bracelet. The SKU is two two four five four featured image. Boom boom. Price bracelets, tags, description. Perfect. So we're going to continue to step three. And then in step three, you have to drag and drop. Don't get confused when you see this screen. I'm going to show you very quickly and easily how to do this. So for title and content, you want to drag the name. So you're going to take the name, drag it into that box. Then you want to drag the description into that box. You want to grab your images download images hosted elsewhere. See, now this is the cool thing, is that you will have the option of entering the image URL. And in that case, if your dropshipper provided you with the URL, it would be here, featured image gallery, and you would drag it. In our case, we're using, and the, w, uh, the WooCommerce importer doesn't allow you to do this, and it should. So here, it gives you the option to use images currently in your media library, which is why once you've created the CSV, you wanna upload your images before you upload your CSV onto All Import. So I've already done that. I've added my images in the media folder already so that w, uh, WP All Import software can recognize that it's an image already in my Im media library. And like I said, it goes by name. So you to make sure you get that right. And always separate the line. So we have our featured image and our gallery, and that's done. And then you want to go to tags category. So we're going to check off both product category. You want to drag bracelets over there. You want to drag your category. And you also want to hopefully get your tags done ahead of time. But your dropshipper might have already done this for you. A lot of times dropshippers will do everything but the tags. So make sure you want to have, um, for, you know, for the benefit of SEO and search, you want to make sure you get those tags in there. So we're missing... I'm sorry. So we'll just go through the list. And what are we missing? Custom fields? No. Okay, so now we want to go SEO advanced. Titles, caption, alt text. We don't need that. Commerce add-ons. Here, you want to go. Okay, so the add-on, this is important. The SKU goes into the add-on section. Uh, regular price. You can do your sales price at any time. I don't, you don't necessarily have to do it during the upload because you don't know when you're going to create a sale or when your dropshipper is having a sale. So you can leave that blank for now unless they provided that to you. So we already dropped our names, our SKUs, our featured image gallery, price, category, tags, etc. 
So we've already added everything that needs to get added, and we're going to continue to step four. And then for the unique identifier, you're going to auto detect. And it should detect the name in the SKU. There we go, the name in the SKU. And now you're ready to upload. And it's not worth going through all this trouble for two, obviously. Um, I'm just doing this as a test for you, as a tutorial. Confirm and run import. And then we'll be able to see our products in the WooCommerce products store. Created two, updated zero of two records. So it's composing titles, excerpts, authors, etc. So it's complete, right? So now we're going to go over to our products and we're going to look for these two products. And again, my product names match my product images, so that's going to be easy to look for them. And just give it a second to load. Again, I apologize for how slow the screencast is. Okay, so immediately, immediately you see the two newest products published a minute ago, published a minute ago, and the products have been uploaded with the images, so we can check those out. And when you upload with WP All Import, it gives the product an ID number, which is fine. So here we go, silver bracelet. Obviously, you want to do a better job, or your dropshipper is going to do a better job of creating descriptions. But if you are dropshipping, um, I would suggest spending a little time on descriptions because Google, for the purpose of SEO, does not appreciate duplicate content. So if your dropshipper has uh, a retail site, which most dropshippers do have, I know the one I use does, and your images and your descriptions match verbatim, it's, it could be a problem. I would suggest adding a little logo to your images and changing the description a little bit and obviously adding as many tags as possible for the purpose of having a strong SEO. I love this template. So that's pretty much it. So like I said, you're not going to get the quality that you need or the function that you need with the, w, with the WooCommerce um, product importer. It's not going to all automatically integrate your images with your products. It doesn't do that unless you upgrade for $95. And if you're just starting out, you've already spent money out of your pocket, you might not want to pay $95 before you've sold a piece of jewelry or a t-shirt or whatever um, retail niche you're into. So as an alternative, I'm suggesting WP All Import. And, um, and it seemed to be the best functioning plugin that I, I've tried a couple other ones. I even tried um, upload from server and uh, so many different options. But if you're a developer, if you're a programmer, if you have, if you, you know, there are easier ways than this to do it. But this is more for the layman that needs help. And that is about it. That ends my tutorial for the day. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a line. I'll do my best to help you. Have a great day.